Hello everyone, so today we will proceed with our sub D tutorial and today we will explore one more new tool and uh, yeah, the problem is that the frontal panel missing the design from the back panel, yeah, so we need to create the same thing, I mean uh, the same, this line in the front. At least this is my idea. Okay, great. So how to achieve it? Let's move it to the side. Rick and uh, first thing, what we can do for a back panel? Yeah, we can check a new tool for us. I'm not saying this is a new tool for Maya. This is a measure measurement tool. As you saw, I'm always using the book for something like. Definitely, you can use an this measurement tools. It's a distance uh, parameter tool and arc length. We right now not doing the arc or any other parameter. We just use the distance tool. Okay, so let's enable wireframe. Press D in order to snap it to the vertex point. Snap and snap to a different vertex point. And as you can see, we have point one unit here point uh, or i mean 0 0.1 unit in scale so simply like that you can use measurement tool yeah and you can see you have two locators you can uh select locator drag it and just measure it or you want you can snap the vertex point to measure it definitely if you want to measure all the base you can press Ctrl and T in order, in order to get all the values. Yep, and this value is uh, go very badly because of the background. As you can see, this is the line and this is the while uh, the value. Yep, you can see the eight, so eight or wait, wait. I don't know. Uh, okay. Uh, how tall it is, how fat it is. Yeah. So you have all these numbers. Great. So let's get back to our tutorial. And uh, now we know what we need. Point one in order to match our, uh, let's say, design. Yeah. So what I will do, I will select the line. Extrude it and the offset will scale it as a point one. Great. I will select this line, duplicate. Great. And I'm scale the same amount inverse. So minus point, oops, point one. Nope. Wait a second. My mistake, let's extrude it inside. Okay, so point one. Great. So we have this point one border. I've scaled it first of all up and later from the from this line inside. Yeah. And just to get the proper let's say loops. Yeah, something like that. Loops. Okay. So, uh, back our geometry. And, uh, what we can do now, we can simply just delete that one. Select everything. Yeah. Whoop. Maybe. I was just walking. Do not select everything. Select only the external lines. Okay, and just shrink it down a bit. Yeah, and uh, after that, you can snap these vertex points. So, um, as simple as that, select, snap, select, snap, select, snap. Yeah, and uh, yeah, this is the tedious work. You can definitely buy a script or a no, 
maybe we can I will use one of script in order to do that task faster. But the process the same. Select the point and uh, snap. Now when all vertex points are snapped, I've merged the vertex points. That's it. Let's move out the base. Yeah, and uh, change it with this one. Great, so what we can do now, let's select boot and I'll unsmooth it. This look, yeah, because I want to snap our, uh, let's say, scale in that manner. Okay, two vertex points. So let's snap it to align our borders in here. Great. Let's go to the perimeter, do bevel, and remove the chamfer. And the lines look pretty similar. So let's check this out. How it will look. Remove wireframe. And uh, yeah, it's looking pretty, pretty good. Okay, maybe in here we need to do some tweaking or something like that. But very very close very very close okay yeah some small tweakings but yeah if it's required okay performance great and it's looking definitely great so uh mm -hmm. and right away we can see that we have an issues with uh, this plane yeah so, what we can do? We can leave it like that, to be honest. Or, what is happening? Right here. Hmm. We can select size and move all of them to the side, yeah? Just like that. Great. And uh, for a bottom part, I will select bottom area and move it in the just like that as well. Awesome. Okay, so what we will do next? Maybe something like this. And just try to align a few points in here and in here. And for me, it's looking pretty decent. I don't know, maybe this corner should be sharper. We will check it right after I will mirror this mesh. Okay, so let's do mirror over X. Combine it. Merge the vertex. Great job. Okay, so now. Definitely looking better. I like it. I like it much more. That area probably we need to tweak a bit this area. I mean, uh, move a bit. Almost there. There's the points in here. Maybe that one too. No, let's check this out. What is happening? Okay, in here it's looking like that. We're missing support supply in here. So, um, what I will do, I will do a cut in here. And, uh, let's, you know, map them in here. That's what? Okay. What about the support lines? Let's check it out. And yeah, it's looking pretty, pretty close. Uh huh. For a bottom part, we can 
select these two guys yeah and move it to the side in that manner will be a support for this guy yeah maybe even more you see wonderful yes something like that will be good we will later check the top or uh, now we can do it right away just uh, finish what we have started okay so let's do this Okay. And uh, you know, probably I will. I'm not sure if I was doing everything uh, in the vertical point. I mean, exactly the same. So just to be calm, I'll do the mirror and uh, just merge all vertical points. And it should eliminate all the problems. So, as you can see, we're moving gently forward, and I really like this detail. And uh, yeah, but we have issues here. So, uh, yeah, we need to not forget about this area, and uh, we don't need to. Feel like that. So let's select that, bevel it, remove the chamfer, I'll remove this guy. Yeah. Let's check it again. And as you can see, nice and crisp. Fine. Maybe it's too crisp. Fine. But, uh, yeah. We can. Then we can select it and kill it down a bit, yeah. And we will get you know that uh, soft line, yeah. And it's looking pretty awesome. What you will say? Great. You know how it looks on the back side. It's sharp as well. So, you know, uh, let's fix in here as well. As I want to get, what's it? It's smoother edge. Just a bit. Something like that. Let's do that. And yeah, as you can see, it's a nice smooth line in here as well. Maybe even we can move even more with it. Okay, so now I'm really happy and I can leave it for now and we will move forward with another details soon. So stay tuned, don't give up.